hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna show you how to validate our research questionnaire as we know that the validation of the research has always been an important concern of your research so how we define the validation validation basically is a process of checking or declaring something officially acceptable and what is the difference between the validity and reliability? Reliability refers the consistency of the measures, which means that the result can be reproduced under same condition. While validity refers to the accuracy of the measure, which means that whether the results really do present what they are supposed to measure. So in this video, I will explain both reliability and validity. I would like to explain validity first. Starting from the types of validity, basically there are two types of validity. Number one is the theoretical construct and empirical construct. Theoretical construct is further divided into two types that is face validity and content validity. These two are the most important. An empirical construct further divided into type A and type B which is criterion uh, validity and construct validity. And they also have the further types number one is the theoretical construct which further divided into face validity face validity means the the person uh, expert of your topic go through your research work he can be your supervisor external expert or uh, you can take the help from the statistician and number second is the content validity for example i'm asking a question in the questionnaire that salicylic acid or aspirin is prohibited in dengue shock syndrome and i'm going to validate this same question through literature review for example the world health organization says the same thing that aspirin and ibuprofen is prohibited because of the risk of bleeding criterion validity is the second one and the subtype is predictive validity. In this type of validity, we assess the questionnaire for future events. I mean, we are forecasting in this type of validity. For example, we check behaviors, attitude, and outcomes. Furthermore, a good example for this type of research is to check the questionnaire for the medication adherence to medication to predict the future outcomes, such as systolic blood pressure control the second subtype of criterion validity is concurrence validity in this type of validity we assess the newly developed questionnaire against high rated existing standards for example a good example of this type of the validity is our principal investigator is checking the sugar values in during his visit in the ward and compare with the lab construct validity construct validity is the second major type of empirical validity and this is the degree to which an instrument measure the trade or theoretical construct that is intended to measure it doesn't have any criteria for the comparison rather it utilizes a hypothetical construct for comparison and basically it measures how meaningful the scale or the instrument is when it is in the practical use there are four subtypes they are convergence validity discriminant validity known group validity and factorial validity now our second topic is reliability Reliability is an extent to which a questionnaire, test, observation or any measurement procedure that produces the same results on repeated trials. In short, it is the stability or consistency of the scores over time or across the writers. So how can we check the reliability? We can check by test retest, equivalence and then by internal consistency. Number one is test retest. This is also called as stability check. In this case, we administer the same questionnaire to the same group, but at different times. And the second one is equivalence. Equivalence is also called as alternate form reliability. In this case, 
we administer the two different form of the same test. However, it should be noted that the different form refer to the questions are different form but, the cons but they construct the same meaning of the question. Number third is internal consistency. Internal consistency is a type of reliability, is a way to measure how well a test or survey is actually working or measuring what you want to measure. How we check the internal consistency. Before checking internal consistency, we go for the pilot test. As we know that in the pilot test, we take 20% of the data sample of all over the collected data. The pilot test is a trial for the collecting the data to detect the weakness in the design. We can check the internal consistency by chromic alpha measuring dispersion and statistical outlier. Chromic alpha. Chromic alpha is a measure of internal consistency. That is how closely related a set of items are as a group. Values are ranges from 0.60 to 0.70. If the values are less than or equal to 0.9, the results are excellent. If the values are less than or equal to 0.5, the results are unacceptable. Measuring dispersion. Measuring dispersion means here we check the statistical outliers and it is defined as an outlier is a data point that differs significantly from other observation. You can see by chart that the data which are significantly fall outside the results they are identified. So thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribe to my channel for my future videos.